Hello everyone, welcome to Physics Mage. This is an interesting problem from Problems in General Physics by Iridau. So let's try and solve this problem. So everyone, this problem if we want to try by using successive reduction method, meaning recognizing resistors in series and parallel and simplifying it, it becomes very difficult. So if you use any other method also like using KBL, KCL or nodal analysis, it becomes difficult. So there is one way to solve this problem, meaning using some kind of simple approach to solve this kind of complex problem. Let's try and learn that method. We call that one as superposition principle. First, we will learn what is superposition principle by using simple example. Then we will try to apply that logic to solve this problem. Okay. So what is the superposition principle? Suppose if you consider there is a resistor here, let's say R resistor, which is connected to the cells now here. Let's say there is one cell whose voltage is V. Now we know that if I amount of current is flowing through this and I amount of current has to come back so that it will form a closed circuit. So battery is just driving the charges. Okay. So current through this circuit is given by V by R, meaning indirectly we know that R is equal to V by I, meaning by any chance if we know the like voltage drop we are giving across these two points, I'll be calling this one let's say X and Y. Suppose if you know the voltage drop across X and Y as V and current entering the X and current coming from Y is I, if we divide that then we'll get resistance of the entire system across this point X and Y, correct? So this is our basic understanding. Now let's give some numbers to make it much more easy to grasp, okay? Let's say this resistance is 5 ohms and this voltage supply voltmeter voltage supply potential drop that is let's say 10 volts okay if that is the case then i is going to be 10 by 5 it is 2 amps of current will flow through the circuit okay so this is kind of easy to understand thing right now what we'll do is this suppose if we are considering the equivalent circuit we can divide this one into two parts let's say let me write like this there is a resistor r i'll be considering this cell is divided into two parts let's say this is v by 2 and v by 2 still if we find out like current flowing through the system if this is 5 ohms and this is 5 volts now and 5 volts still current is going to be 2 amps only correct by using kbl you can easily approach that and suppose if I say that if I ground this one, let's say if I give it this point to be at zero voltage, even if I give zero voltage here, we can say that the flow of current will be still same in the circuit. The current would be still two amps only because you know that potential at a given point is not of our interest because current only depends upon potential difference, not on the potential. Correct? So, meaning with this idea, we can split this into Another way of approach, let's say a resistor is here, this 5 ohm resistor, okay? And there is a cell here, like positive, negative. This is grounded, let's say. This is 5 volts. And we have one more cell here, negative. This is 5 volts connected to a thing like this. So you know that if we are connecting these two terminals to the zero voltage, zero voltage, you know that these two are at same potential it is as good as a closed circuit if it is a closed circuit you know that current flowing through the system is going to be 2 amps same story now meaning we can say that if i ignore first cell and consider only second cell meaning if i name this one as a and b let me say a is present in the system a is s effect okay s effect ignoring Ace effect ignoring B if you consider it will be 1 amp towards right side similarly B's effect ignoring ignoring A if you consider still it is going to be 1 amp towards right side so we can say that the total current is going to be still 2 amps 
meaning you can individually consider their contribution so this idea we call it a superposition principle superposition idea okay so once we get this idea let us consider one more setup to apply this logic to our given problem okay suppose if i am ignoring this particular cell if i am ignoring this cell the system will look like this we have like a cell here and a resistor here 5 ohm resistor 5 volt cell this is grounded okay and even this would be grounded meaning i am ignoring the cell here got it so this is what we have now in the second situation suppose this is ignoring meaning b is absent b is absent okay b is absent this would be the story now suppose if a is absent we'll have this is connected to zero potential let's say there is our cell and we have negative potential connected here like this and this is connected to zero volt now we know that in the first scenario the current flowing through the cell is one amp even here in the second cell it is going to be one amp meaning if we combine these two it appears like this if you combine these two meaning i'll repeat suppose if you call this as figure one and this is figure two suppose if you combine figure one and figure two you will get figure three and figure three you know that current flowing through this is two amps meaning this figure three is equivalent to figure four here which we have drawn and we can even rewrite this one as figure five here so meaning these all networks are one and the same we are looking in different ways that's it so if you have this basic idea we are going to use this logic in our so-called given problem and apply and get the value of the entire system's resistance about x and y let's plan that now suppose if you look at the system now we have bunch of resistors let me call every resistor here they have given it is r capital r is the resistance let's say i'm just drawing few resistors to get a better idea of how things are they are all of resistance r each now if this point is considered as x and this point is considered as y as of now i'll be considering only this x is connected to positive terminal of the battery and negative terminal of the battery is connected to like say ground okay so there is no connection given to the y okay now let me call this one as v by 2 as the voltage supply given to it now we know that if this is only given the current entering the circuit if i amount of current is entering the circuit okay so this one will be divided into like number of current parts depending upon the effective resistances but if you look at this system in every direction meaning if you think of any direction here let's say either in this direction or in this direction or in this direction or even right side in every direction the resistors are like infinite right meaning very large resistances so voltage keeps on dividing as the number of resistors are more and more so you can imagine as if like say after like large number of resistors are considered in our circuit the voltage will become almost equal to zero meaning voltage consumption becomes like almost like entire system voltage is consumed so here we can expect to be connected as if it is earth meaning since voltage is consumed completely at infinite resistance configuration you can say that the periphery is almost equivalent to grounding case okay so that is considered here if we consider this then current will be equally splitting in all the directions correct if current is equally splitting in all the direction we can say that i amount of current is entering and i by 4 
current will be splitting in all the direction because of symmetry i by 4 okay now if this is the case we can bring in the other network also and i'm rewriting the circuit just to have better idea we have bunch of resistors suppose if y is con x and y are considered here x and y okay now think only at y we are connecting this y to negative terminal of the battery and positive terminal is connected to the ground okay now under the same lines you can imagine that they are all connected to meaning with large resistors right so here almost it will be at zero voltage okay you can consider this is at zero voltage after large number of voltage drops happening you can say that they will reach that configuration where all the edges right periphery will be at zero voltage now if from our given symmetry if i amount of current is entering with v by 2 voltage drop here so this is exact same situation here but since it is opposite polarity i amount of current is drawn from the network with v by 2 voltage drop here okay so v by 2 voltage drop we are going to draw i amount of current that is a case i by 4 i by 4 i by 4 current must be entering from all the directions like this because of symmetry and these i by 4 into 4 becomes i amount of current and it passes through the system okay now if we observe this one as a and this is b okay if you are combining this it will become our so called system where it appears like this now okay now see since we are connecting them the voltage drop overall we are giving as v and this is given across x and y now because of the superposition can say current flowing through this branch right it is i by 4 plus i by 4 it becomes i by 2 right now you can imagine the entire overall system resistance as this r x y is resistance of the system resistance of the entire system across resistance of the entire system across these two points x and y and I amount of current is entering the system and I amount of current is leaving the system and we have this voltage supply as V so if you want resistance of the system about X and Y you have to just consider the voltage drop divided by the current I okay so this will give us some value of resistance of the system now do we already know voltage across X Y is a question see voltage across X Y by using superposition principle we can get it now we know that i by 2 is the overall current is flowing between x to y and the resistance is r so it is going to be i r by 2 now v x y by i is resistance of the system and that turns out to be r by 2 okay so that would be our answer for this problem okay now instead of x and y if they ask between x and z let's try that also suppose if we have between x and z here okay then how do we solve this problem again ignoring the one of the cell we can consider only the current entering here as i and here it is going to be i by 4 and i by 4 is entering it will split equally in all the direction because of symmetry it is going to be i by 12 in this way I by 12 in this way and I by 12 in this way okay so here we know that it is I by 4 I by 4 like this and I by 4 just for for consideration I'm writing all these things now if we ignore the cell say we are considering this cell we have considered and this was the given configuration now let's consider the other cell if you consider only this cell v by 2 the green one now the current will be drawn here such that here it is going to be i by 4 drawn i by 4 drawn here 
and here i by 4 right here i by 4 like that now if this is i by 4 ignoring the red color cell only green color cell this would be the story and between y to z it is i by 4 between x to y it is going to be i by 12 correct so now if you consider both of them together meaning if you see like the superposition of it superposing if you consider superposition of cells and now apply k kvl kcl you can say potential at x and here i by 4 plus i by 12 will be the current flowing through this so you can write it as minus r is the resistance i by 4 plus i by 12 is running i by 12 this is passing through x to y then from y to z same story minus r times y to z because of like red color cell it is i by 12 because of green color cell it is i by 4 this is what we have that is equal to potential at z so potential at x z is going to be potential at x minus potential at z is potential difference between x and z that is going to be r times so meaning two times of r i by 4 plus i by 12 so you can easily simplify this you can write it as 4 i by 12 so 4 i by 12 and it is i by 3 correct to r i by 3 so that is the voltage drop across xz so we already know that if we want like entire systems resistance across this if i amount of current is entering the system if i amount of current is entering the system and i amount of current is leaving the system like this if we consider both of them together okay then we do have the overall system resistance given like this i times of our system is potential across xz so using this logic potential across xz by i is going to be our system which is 2r by 3 so this would be the answer if we want to find out between x and z so i want you to try this problem and see what would be the answer and you can post that in the comment section i hope you have understood this problem thank you everyone